If you're looking for a budget Windows laptop that can also serve as a tablet when you need it to, then you may not have to look much further than the 12 inch HP Pavilion X2. When used with the keyboard, it's less than an inch thick and weighs just under three and a quarter pounds. The metal keyboard base is easily detachable, allowing you to sit back and relax with it in tablet mode. Of course, if you need to bang out some emails or just want the more traditional form factor, you also have the standard laptop mode. Other views include stand mode, which put the display front and center with the keyboard behind it tucked out of the way, and tent mode, which HP says is great for watching TV, movies, and even my YouTube channel. Looking at the ports on the device, you have a USB 2.0 and a 3.5 millimeter jack on the left, and over on the right, there's a micro SD card slot, mini HDMI, and a USB-C port that's capped at USB 3.0 speeds. This port is also used for charging the device. As for the processor, you can choose between the Intel Atom version with two or four gigabytes of RAM, which starts at $499. Or you can do what I recommend and opt for the one with the sixth generation Intel Core M3 chip. That one costs $549, just $50 more than the Atom version. It's matched up with four gigabytes of RAM, and a 128 gigabyte SSD. And the touch display, which you see right up front, is 1920 by 1280 and includes pen support. HP's active pen is sold separately. This is an IPS display, so viewing angles are good and don't get washed out. You'll wanna keep the brightness jacked up though, as I found the display to be more on the dim side. On the sides of the display, you've got a pair of speakers. Don't let the Bang & Olufsen logo fool you though, as the sound that comes out of these is just average. But the nice part is that they are front-facing speakers, which is a rarity on laptops and tablets. As for cameras, there's nothing on the rear, but up front, you get a camera that does 720p high-definition video for those Skype calls. The keyboard itself is fine. You get enough space to not feel cramped and also good travel distance on the keys themselves so that you can actually feel when you're pressing them. The trackpad is also good, not the best I've ever used, mind you, but for a budget machine, it gets the job done. One other cool thing here is when you open the Pavilion X2, you notice that the keyboard raises up. That gives you a nice incline. It's something you see other manufacturers do, like Microsoft does with the Surface, but it's never this solid of a connection. It feels really nice. All in all, the HP Pavilion X2 12 inch is a great machine for the money and should get you through the majority of the day. I was managing roughly six and a half hours of battery life myself. If you're thinking of picking one up, I suggest going with the Intel M3 version, as I said earlier, as you get a faster processor, as well as faster internal SSD storage. It looks and feels like a premium laptop, but it won't break the bank. Let me know if the HP Pavilion X2 is something you might consider, whether it be for school or work. If you need something with a similar form factor for business class work, be sure to check out my video on the HP Elite X2 for comparison. Thanks a lot for watching. As always, guys, if you like this one, please do hit the like button and please be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on all future videos. Thanks for your support and I'll catch you in the next video.